Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to enter a manual credit card transaction in QuickBooks Online. So this assumes that you have not transferred over the credit card transactions automatically from your bank account. If you want to do that, we have another tutorial. You can find all 46 of our free Quick QuickBooks tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So let's see how to manually enter a credit card transaction. Let's start at our QuickBooks dashboard. If you don't have a subscription to QuickBooks, you can get one for 50% off for three months by clicking the link below this video. So let's get started uh, entering our credit card transaction. First, we need to create an expense. So let's go to the New button. Under Vendors, click Expense. Choose the vendor we paid. Let's assume it was our cell phone company. Okay, choose the payment account as whichever credit card we're going to use. So let's say it's the Bank of America credit card. Payment date can be today's date. Payment method, we'll say it's a Visa category. It automatically pre-filled it as telephone because that's what it's, that's the account associated with the payee cell phone company. And we'll say the amount was an even $1,500. Okay, and we have it assigned to the class admin. If your screen does not show some of these fields that you would like, like location and class, you can adjust your settings in order to track to turn on those features. So you can do that again by looking at some of our other QuickBooks Online tutorials. So let's save our credit card expense to our cell phone company. Good. And that's all this to recording a credit card expense. Now, this assumed that you had not already recorded the cell phone expense bill when you received it. So another way to record expenses is when you receive the bill, you immediately enter the bill creating an accounts payable. You can then use your credit card to pay that accounts payable. So let's go through that process. So first let's find an accounts payable uh, that still needs to be paid. So let's go to expenses and vendors. And I've sorted the open balance column so that we can find some open accounts payable. So we owe Foster Lighting $2,170. So let's go ahead and pay that with a credit card. Now we don't want to schedule payments. Schedule payments uses QuickBooks Online automatic bill pay service, which is very handy, but that's not what we're doing today. So instead, let's say make payment. This is the same process we use to pay a bill with a check, but this time we're going to pay it out of our credit card. So we're going to pay Foster Lighting, and rather than our checking account, we're going to take it out of our Bank America credit card. Okay, and let's put our payment date as 431.21. We're paying this particular bill. We're paying the full amount of 2170. And there we go. Save and close. And we've paid that bill using a credit card. If you want to review your credit card activity, you can go to accounting, chart of accounts, and then let's find our Bank of America credit card account. So it'll be down in current liabilities credit card right here, Bank of America credit card, view, register. Okay, so let's look for today's transactions. Here we can see that we paid $1,500 to our cell phone company and we paid $2,170 to Foster Lighting. We paid a bill that we had entered as an accounts payable. So there we go. That's how you can enter credit card expenses. Uh, both as a new expense and using a credit card to pay an open accounts payable. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for share sharing your time with me and have a great day.